your saints? Can you clap your saints to the king? Somebody shout, yay! I'm not getting you. I'm not getting you. Somebody lift up your voice and shout, yeah! Come on, everybody! 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 Come on,
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If you are glad to be in God's presence, I'd like you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, Welcome to this very moment where God will transform your life and crown you with a new glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Hallelujah. I want to call this fellow brethren to share their testimony this evening for what God has done in their lives. And I want to believe that as you listen to their testimony, God will give you your own testimony. In the name of Jesus. I want to welcome Pastor James all the way from Cameroon. Pastor James, I want to welcome Mrs. Musa all the way from Plateau Zone. Please make your way fast to this place as you hear your name. I want to welcome Mrs. Grace all the way from FCT Zone, particularly Mina. Please hurry and join me here. I want to welcome Mrs. Lamy all the way from Plateau Zone. And I want to welcome Bro Ruben, Bro Ruben, Bro Ruben, Bro Ruben, Ruben Luca, Brother Mark, all the way from Plateau Zone, Brother Mark. And I want to welcome Pastor Peter from Kaduna Zone, Pastor Peter Yacham from Kaduna Zone. Hallelujah. Mommy, it will interest you to know that. During the, the, the early fast, the Lord gave us a testimony in the midst of it. And I want to believe that it's just an encouragement for us to know that God is doing the unseenable things. And we want to believe the Lord that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Mama said I should share her testimony on her behalf. This is Mama Musa. Mama Musa is a retired nurse who have served with us after her retirement from uh, the Plateau State. Join us here on a voluntary walk in our hospital, Salem Medical Center. And later she left back to Jaws after her assignment was over here. Mama Musa said she came down to the house one certain day and she discovered that her door was open. But she was surprised that her door was open. And all of a sudden, she was trying to ask, why is her door open? Everybody was there. People was looking at her, you know. And somebody just came and told her that they saw a snake. About to, a snake in front of her door about to enter into the door. But there was a kind of a resistance. The snake could not enter into the house. And you know, they were trying to kill the snake. And somehow, the snake escaped. But she wanted to give God the, the glory because it did not enter into her house. The snake did not enter into her room. The Lord who watches over us preserved her. And the second testimony she wants to give us this evening is that for the period of time she left work, her pension, her gratuity was not given for 13 years. But she wants to give God the glory that God in this year has helped her build a house. Is this God not wonderful? Is this God not wonderful? I'd like you to celebrate this God. Celebrate this God. What no man can do, God will do it for you. And we want to pray for you today that it is not just only house God will give you. Everything that must enter into your life, even in the coming season, the Lord will make them happen to your life. For every labor you have labored, the Lord will give you the rewards of those labor. And you will not die until the visions of heaven are fulfilled in your life. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. And the Lord keep watch over you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you just tell us your name? My name is Grace Tado from Niger State. Go ahead. 
I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. The Lord blessed me with six children. And before they became anything, their father died. And I was struggling. The Lord was helping me. The first two got their uh, admission into school. And they were able to pass out freely. But the last four, they got admission into the university. But for one of them to pass out, it was a struggle. I was always paying, paying, paying. They are redoing, redoing. But I want to thank the Lord because the Lord is faithful. All of them this year, they've gotten their degrees and they've passed out. I give glory to the Most High God. I want, also want to thank God that this young woman, as you are seeing here, she was 70 on the 3rd of December. And I'm seeing hell and hearty. I want to thank God. I'd like us to just lift up our hands and just pray for Mommy Grace. For this 70 years, let the Lord renew her strength. For this wonderful miracle of making her children go through the university, not allowing her to see shame, these children will not make her see shame after this graduation. Can you just lift up your voice and just tell the Lord, Father, set your watch over her life. By this watch, Lord, give her many more testimonies. Give her long life, long life, because your word says with long life you will satisfy us and show us your salvation. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless your children. The Lord open doors for them. The Lord make the certificates in their hand useful. They will not die before their time. They will put smile on your face. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My name is Lami Sila Damush from uh, Pinyam Tower. I'm here to give testimony to the glory of God for what he has done as individual, as a community too. God has been so faithful because we are among the people that, you know, experience the crisis that happened even in our place. The first time Many people just ran away from the place, but we have to return. As we return, God took control of the situation and he fought our battles for us because he secured us. He came against us, but God raised his army because even the people testified that after they attacked the place, they testified that what they were seeing were people with white clothes that they were fighting. So they were fighting those people. They were even thinking that if they have gone, they will, they will hear that most of the people have died in that place. But to their surprise, it's only one person that was killed. So we thank God for his mercy and protection. In the midst of the difficulties, God has not left us. Even in provision, God has provided for us. He's provided food for us. We did at least whatever we did small, he blessed it. And also... My children, the, my daughter, she got admission in the midst of these difficulties. God still provided for her, the money for her school fees and all that. Is. So I want to thank God for the admission because she sat for this college of nursing in Kafanchan last year. She got the exam, but when it comes to the admission, she was not given. But God make it that she will not just to read the certificate, but... She got the admission to read uh, nursing in the university. So I'm grateful to God for what he has done. Hallelujah. You know, what some of you don't understand, as many of us who have covenant with the Lord in this house, despite the, 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 the ravaging spirit that was devouring the lives of men, God has kept his covenant with us. Some of us this year, we are kidnapped, nothing was touched, and the Lord brought us out in safety. Our villages were invaded, and no one life was lost. This is a testimony, and that is what God is doing with us. And I want to pray for you that the Lord will put his mark upon your houses. The Lord, by your sake or for your sake, will defend the community where you dwell. 
and none shall die in the name of Jesus. Your daughter will finish her school well in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and the Lord watch over you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Reverend Luca Awok. I want to give God the glory for his goodness over my life. And particularly from the early fast that uh, took place from the 1st of December to 12th. We started the fast then on the 4th. After I've observed the first watch, that's the first prayer in the night. Then I now say, let me sleep before I now woke up to go to my place of work. As I just lay my head to sleep, I saw myself driving like, like a motorcycle. I was passing through a small river, let me say a stream. So someone just called me. For me to turn, I keep passing the person up to three times. It's like as if the, the motorcycle, the, the brake is not working. So by the time I turned the fourth time, I discovered that the river has closed up the road. There was no road again. So I now parked the bike. I entered the river. I now swim to the other side of the river. So by the time I step on the river bank, I just raise my eyes. I look around. Then I saw pillars from the earth connecting to the heavens. Then I just raised my eyes. I saw the heavens open. I was just beholding. Then it was as if something just enveloped me. During that day, I thought it was rapture. So I, I, I don't know. From that day, my life has never remained the same again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the Ellen fast was a strategic fast. And God instructed our mother and the Lord to carry out this fast. Now, from this testimony, we realize that it got to a point where his life was limitless, was limited. But the Lord gave him strength to go through the river. And when he, got through, when he went through the river, the Lord, in his mercy, enveloped him with a glory for a new beginning. The Lord will give you a new beginning. This fast will not just be in vain in your life. But that which God has ordained for you to fulfill, you will fulfill it in your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord watch over you. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to allow, hallelujah. To the glory of God, I stand here to testify the handwork of God behind our, our wedding and our marriage with my beautiful wife. Um, my brother's child. When I was to take a step for my wedding, my brother's challenge me. I don't have anything. I should just forget it. The Lord says, arise and take a step. While in school, here in Apocalypse, I did my introduction. And I graduated last year. To the glory of God this year, the Lord says, just push and beg your in-laws to allow you have your harvest, to do your harvest before paying the dowry. So to the glory of God, I had a bumper harvest this year that was able to make me to pay for my dowry. And to the glory of God, I don't know how the wedding was. A challenge came and then something happened during the October conference that the Williams counseled me to take one of my wedding invitation cards and lay it at the altar. And when I obeyed, my cousin brother, the, an early hour of the wedding day, he told me that he had a dream, that he saw me removing money from the altar, of which a small boy, stubborn boy, was challenging me that he would see how this wedding will be successful. But that he saw me open, uh, opening a wardrobe from the altar, and I was settling issues that make the wedding a success. So to the glory of God, the wedding was successful on the 27th of December. That was on uh, uh, Wednesday. I stand here to give, we stand here to give God the glory. Hallelujah. 
It is God who established homes. And God has established this home. And we want to declare that this home has come to stay. The Lord shall continue to be the foundation of this home. That because you have come before the presence of the Lord to acknowledge his doing. Today this marriage will not be barren. This marriage will be sweet. This marriage will be full of God's help. Thank you Father. So as you rise from here, you are rising into a new glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody congratulate us, new couples. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Peter Ayacham. I from, I'm from Kafanchantawa, Kaduna Zoo. My testimony happens on Thursday. Very early in the morning that day, I had an accident, and I hit my knee. So those who saw me that day, I was walking, I was struggling. When I, to, I struggled to walk that morning, that day throughout. But during the retreat in the evening, after daddy finished preaching, uh, ministering, he called Pastor Austin and said, give me, where is that my oil? And he gave us oil to anoint ourselves. You know, that day after the anointing, I forgot that I had an accident on my leg, my left leg, and I went home, and I was busy doing my activities, jumping up and down. It was in the night when I came back, I wanted to climb up the stairs to go to the stage. I felt no pain again, and that's how God took away the pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So can you just demonstrate to us that this pain is gone? Hallelujah. 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 You know, somebody say, somebody, I like you to say, serve. Can you say serve? Healing. Serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. This healing is completed in your life. Amen. You will not feel it anymore. Amen. It will not return back anymore. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. My name is Pastor James from Cameroon. I just want to thank God for what he has done for my family. Because uh, my wife was pregnant. I took her to the hospital. So they examined her. And the doctor didn't tell me that during her giving birth she would die. So now we reach a time that they told me that she doesn't have blood in her body again. I said, this cannot happen. I have a covenant with God. I asked them to check my blood and put it for her. They check the blood and give it to my wife. Now I want to thank God that on the 1st of December, she gave birth to, to a baby girl. They are doing fine and they are well. It's after giving birth now that the doctor will testify that they didn't want to tell me because my wife will die. I say I have a God that is more than you people. I just want to thank God for what he has done for my family. i just like us to bless God for this family. Just lift up your voice and bless God. None of your siblings, you will not lose your husband, you will not lose your wife. Today, the covenant-keeping God whom you serve shall preserve your life, shall preserve the life of your wife, the life of your children. And so let it be in the name of Jesus. This mother will continue to nurse her child. The child will not die. The mother will not die. But the Lord will continually to satisfy them. Will continually satisfy them with long life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Comfort Basi from Kafanchantowa here. I'm just here to return all the glory to God. Time will not permit me to say what, I mean, the different things God have done for me. But one particular thing I've come to return all the glory to God. During this October conference, one of the evening, I came back from my place of business. I was in haste to finish up and start coming. And I was almost late. So the charcoal pot I was cooking, I, I asked my daughter to, to turn the charcoal out pinch it, carry the empty stove and bring it in. 
children with their ignorance just jacked the charcoal pot and the charcoal inside with the fire and took it to the store where there is a gas cylinder filled up with gas, a 12.5 kg. There are a lot of timbers there, cartons and other inflammables. What baffled me was when we closed from the meeting, we went back home. I had the place smelling burnt. I just went into the kitchen to check because sometimes when I asked her to remove this pot, she just remove it and leave the electric stove on. Everything was off. So what is smelling? I went into the, into the stove. I noticed that the charcoal has burned the carton, got to a point, it stopped burning. Just when it was going to affect the, the timbers, it stopped burning. The charcoal went off. Normally, that quantity of charcoal will stay on till the next morning. But it went off. Everything went off. The, the, the carton of everything. I just want to appreciate God. May the Lord continue to defend your house. May the covenant of the Lord watch over you and your house. And today, whatever the enemy meant for you, by this crossover night, you have crossover. In the name of Jesus, go and serve the Lord in Jesus' name. Glory be to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. My name is My name is No Yusuf Yashim. I joined this ministry 2010 and I serve as a sanctuary cleaner for I mean since that time until 2021 that I joined the Templars. Um, all these years I have waited for the fruit of the womb for 14 years. Last year, between 2021, 2022, when my wife was just about to enter the nine month, when the Lord blessed us with the fruit of the womb, and we were with full of hope, and um, that a sudden attack came, and blood was gushing out like a tap, like tap water. We rushed her to Salem Hospital. Uh, thank God be to the doctors and the staff there. They worked very hard. The mother was saved. My wife was saved, but we lost the baby. This year again, God bless us. When she went to the hospital, the same Salem Hospital, um, on Thursday the 28th for Atinatal, the doctor sent her to me that I should come immediately. So I, I did not waste time. I went down there, and he suggested um, CS. I was part top. My body was shivering. So I said, let me go and discuss with my wife before I will come back and tell you the outcome. So on going there, I mean, I came to, when, before I get home, I lift up my eyes to the heavens and I say, God, I have heard the doctor. Now let me hear what Dr. Jesus will say. And I branched to see Pastor Williams and I told him, he said I should go and bring her. I went home, brought her to him. He prayed for us. Before we stepped down from the prayer hut, labor started. We rushed her to the hospital, and it, it continues for a while. We called for the doctor immediately. He came and said that, um, what is our decision now? Should they prepare for the CS, or we should observe her? I said, let us observe her. So we waited till evening. The child refused to come out. Till next day, the baby refused to come out. They said, when, uh, if something happened, we should not blame them. I say, if that is the case, let the will of the Lord be done. Now go ahead and do what you can do. So they prepare for the, for the, CS. 
and it was conducted on the 29th, exactly around 7 p.m., they finished everything. So now, the baby is very, very powerful, bouncing baby girl. <laughs> Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me help you. Let me help you conclude. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought you would celebrate God for 15 years. 15 years waiting on the Lord. And the Lord did it at last. Hallelujah. We want to bless the name of the Lord. Because they say I should round up, let me just tell you her name. Her name is Kail. And you know that it's a Hebrew word meaning great glory. And we are in that season. The Lord bless you all. Thank you for your prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know how many of us are looking for the fruit of the womb. But tonight, the Lord will put a child in your womb. I said the Lord will put a child in your womb. I pray that the Lord will preserve the life of this baby. And the Lord will keep watch over her and the mother. And she will grow to become the real testimony of the Lord Amen. upon the earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let me just read a testimony here. I want to thank the Lord for salvation of my soul and thank God for the protection of my children throughout 2023. I give God the glory. I give God, I give God, I give thanks to God Almighty. For my son's admission into the school of denti dentistry in USA to further his dentist career this month. This is from Sister Agnes all the way from Lagos. She wants to thank God for this opportunity God has given her son this month, this month, to further his dentist career in USA. Hallelujah. And she wants to also give God the glory. She said... The number, the number three test, the miracle is in 2021. One evening in June, I was on my phone with my daughter when an arrow was fired into my head. And thick darkness. Well, the summary of this is that thick darkness came upon her and she went insane. Somehow she could not understand what she was doing. And she went to the hospital. She did an, they asked her to do an x-ray. She did an x-ray and... After she came back, they gave her some, med uh, some drugs to take, you know, medications like that. And when she came back, still yet, the thing did not, the, 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 the issue continued. And she went back to the hospital the second time to consult with the doctor. And she went ahead for another, another x-ray. But when she came during the retreat, she, when she came, when she came in the 19, sorry, when she came in the 19 October conference, Daddy, and our father in the Lord spoke concerning a woman who arrow was shot into her head and he said God is going to restore that woman and immediately something left her and all that she felt before she came into that conference she never felt them again the hands of the Lord visited her and she was made whole the Lord will visit you in this season and the Lord will make everything that follow you into this house that is negative the Lord will make them live your life this year they will not follow you into next year in the name of Jesus. And we want to speak to the life of our sister Agnes. We want to say that this testimony in the life of our child and in our own life, the Lord will perfect it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to invite Apostle Gaya for testimony, for announcement. Apostle Gaya, for announcement. Can you just jump your hands to the Lord? Somebody shout hallelujah. I want to hear a bigger, bigger hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're welcome in Jesus' name. 
I am here to make a special announcement. We all know that by the grace of God, next year, some few hours from now, the theme for next year is what? King of kings, the potente God. He'll begin to march over the earth as king of kings, the potentate God. Amen. I say amen. The Lord specially paid a visit to our father in the Lord. Concerning this end time. And his programs for the nations of the earth. And the Lord commanded him that we should go back to the vision he initially gave for training of his soldiers, the end time watchmen of the law, as he dropped into his spirit many, many, many years ago, that gave birth to the school of prophecy and biblical studies. Particularly the first three years of the school, that kind of training that we received, God is demanding that we should go back to that kind of training to raise for him soldiers all over the nations of the earth. And because of that, a committee was formed to look into the separation of this school from our present apocalypse, ATC. We want to separate the prophetic from the school so that the prophetic can remain separate and their training will be separate from the ATC training. Are you understanding? They will have their own leaders. And the vision is to go back to the original training, training soldiers who want to drink from the Lord who are available. And God will carry them and drill them his own way, preparing them for a season like this. And so our father in the Lord said, yes, sir, to the Lord. And so that committee was formed and we have done our assignment and by the grace of God, we want this school to take off January next year. Amen. I say amen. amen. How many of us are excited about this? Let me see your hands. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. So I want by this to make an announcement that the Lord is calling for soldiers, men, that will be available for him to personally drill them and release them to the nations of the earth. And there will be three programs by the grace of God. One, discipleship, for those who are converts in the Lord and want to be trained. We will work on that, just discipleship for them for one year. Then the second program will be for the certificate in the prophetic prayer and discipleship. And the third program is for diploma, two years. And the emphasis will be the prophetic and then the discipleship. So at the end, you will be released into the nations of the earth. So separate training from the ATC. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So there is no protocol in this matter. We are serious about it and we are starting immediately. And therefore I want to announce that if you are here and already God has been steering your heart in matters like this and he has been steering your heart and you want to be trained, please make yourself available. In fact, by this announcement and you are here, come to, uh, tomorrow, first of January, and by 10 a.m. will be available for those who are here and want to be interviewed. The first interview will be tomorrow by 10 a.m., and then you can later collect forms from the school and field. But now you can come by 10 in the morning 
if you are late, come and be interviewed. And then the second interview will be after our workers and staff uh, a retreat that will be finishing by 8th of January. Then on the night of January, we will conduct the second interview. So the school can commence in the last week of January 2024. So by this, I'm asking us to begin to make announcements in all our towers, all the nations of the earth, Please publicize this, tell your friends, and let them come and be trained and be available for God to train them. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I'm not hearing your amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hey, tomorrow, in the school here, please, come to the school here by 10 in the morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please, we, the ministry is undergoing a 21 days fast that we started on the 28th of this month. We will continue this fast to the 18th of January. 18th of January. So we started 28th December. We will continue to 18th January. So please, in case you are yet to commence your fasting and you are part of this family, or you're just coming for the first time and you want to key into this fast, please, the time starts now. Uh, in case you need a prayer guide, after this meeting, see me. We will add you on the platform where you can get more information on the prayer. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. We want to announce to staff workers, staff and workers, pastors, that our retreat will commence on the 2nd of January 2nd to 8th of January please for those who are not here please as many who are here let's send this message to them and let them be part of this retreat the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus tonight we're going to do a great celebration at the hour of 12 we're going to have a fireworks hallelujah hallelujah I thought you would celebrate God you know, this is the first of its kind, and it's happening at a strategic year, the year of the door, meaning as the sounds go to the heavens, God will force open the doors that must be opened concerning your life. I say God will force open the doors that must be opened concerning your life in the name of Jesus. Please, the youth in the house, we want you to prepare whatever presentations you have for us tonight. As I welcome Apostle P.K. Apostle P.K. As the chairman with my co-chairman, uh, Mr. Chike, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, 
we just want to announce the theme of the conference shall we rise please now just before I announce the theme for the conference I want to thank everybody that has been part of the October conference in 2023 now a lot of testimonies abound and the truth is that God has been faithful and I believe in 20 demand now I will want to make an appeal an appeal that within the year anything you have for the conference just put it in the conference account media can we have the conference account on the screen conference account on the screen hallelujah hallelujah ushers can you distribute this so that as we have it we we go through the theme hallelujah now the date for our conference is 21st Monday 21st to Saturday 26th October 2024 I will desire that you go to your diaries and block those days 21st October which is a Monday to Saturday 26th 2024 hallelujah and it is the 20th somebody say 20th international prophetic prayer conference 2024 2024 now that year will make you a king I didn't hear you say amen do you believe 2024 of kings can you repeat it king of kings the potented God the potented God hallelujah hallelujah you may be seated please so let me repeat the theme is king of kings the potented God the date is Monday 21st to Saturday 26th October 2024. Please, as you go back home, begin to prepare for this great conference. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Shall we just rise on our feet as we worship God this evening? Can you lift those hands to the heavens and just exalt the name of Jesus? Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you. So 
Hallelujah. Seeing the faithfulness of God from January to the very last month, the month of December, and as we are about to cross over, we want to take the last offering for today, marking the end and the closure of a of a year that God has been so faithful. Please be seated. That God has been so faithful to us in the midst of all the challenges, the Lord has been faithful. In the midst of all the trials, the Lord has been faithful. But tonight, we are glad in this house to have Pastor Emmanuel all the way from Jaws. Please, sir, can you just rise up and just wave to the house? Hallelujah. Pastor Emmanuel is a minister. that the Lord will do wonderfully well in our lives. We have our brother, brother Bali Davo, and the team from University of Jaws, the team, the orchestral team, all the way from Jaws. Please, can you just wave to the house? The Lord will be blessing us through them this evening. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I'd like us to package our offering as we invite our pastor, Pastor Emmanuel, as it takes us at this level while we take our offerings just package your offerings we'll be receiving his ministration as the Lord blesses us and as we give our offering hallelujah sir you're welcome Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, before we minister to the Lord, we want to seize the opportunity to say a big thank you to our father and our mommy for giving us the privilege to be part of this wonderful meeting at the time of this uh, crossover. We want to say a big thank you and also to the elders of the throne room ministries. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been faithful, Lord, through the ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. You've been faithful, Lord, through the ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. You've been faithful, Lord, from the ages past.
There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. Say no, no. shout hallelujah that hallelujah is very cold somebody who is happy to be here today shout hallelujah let somebody that knows that the Lord God Almighty the potential God has been faithful to him or her this year, 2023, shout hallelujah. Let somebody that knows that the year 2024 is going to be the year of open doors for him, shout the loudest hallelujah. Amen. Who may be seated, please. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce a few uh, persons, acknowledge the presence of a few persons who are with us this evening. I would like to acknowledge the presence of um, retired police commissioner, Mrs. Dimka Esther. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? Also with us here this evening is Mrs. Alice Carao, the former company secretary of CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria, Abuja. With us this evening is Dr. Joseph Mayaki and his wife. Also we have a Dr. Silas Amos Bakut, 
a consultant ophthalmologist from Abuja. We have with us this evening as well, Mrs. Felicia Daniel of the Center for Management Development, Lagos. With us this evening, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Dunia of Total Energy, Lagos. We also have Mrs. Lamy Esther Kantiok. Can we clap unto the Lord? With us this evening, it's AVM Kwasu Baba retired. We also have Honorable Nyam Dareng. With us this evening is also Honorable Ephraim Usman, the Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs. We have um, a family from the United States of America, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Audu. With us this evening for this crossover service is Honorable Felix Gonung, the Commissioner Plateau House of Assembly Service Commission. We also have with us Mr. Ephraim Usman, Plateau State Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs. Then we have Engineer David Bazoom with us this evening. Can we clap onto the Lord? And all the way from the Cameroons, we have Pastor Chris Cherry. With us this evening also is Mr. Jonathan Shekaro, the APC Chairman, Lere Local Government of Kaduna State. With us this evening are three members of the Kaduna State House of Assembly. The first is Honorable Abel Adamu. Can we clap onto the Lord? And the second is Honorable Ab and the second is Mr. Honorable Amos Shekaro. They're actually two, not three. My apologies. Then we have with us this evening as well, Mrs. Patience Toma, the Executive Director of Nigerian Bible Translation Trust. With us this evening is also Group Captain Ben Sabi, retired. We would like to acknowledge the presence all, all the way from Antigua. She has been with us for the retreat, and she's still with us tonight, Prophetess Melissa Simon. Can we clap unto the Lord? Amen. Tonight, we have amongst us the members of the Apostolic Presbytery of the Throne Room Trust Ministries. Can we clap for them? And the members of the Board of Trustees of the Throne Room Trust Ministries. Let us clap for them. This evening, we are going to continue with what we started last year, which has to do with... Um, fundraise for the ministry to take care of salaries it helped us greatly last no not last year this year we started it in the crossover of 2022 into 2023 and it helped us a great deal in um, meeting the needs of the ministry with respect to raising salaries for staff of the ministry today we are going to continue in that same in that same, um, in the same plan, we we'll believe that we will improve on what we did this year. That next year, by your support, we will do better in planning and raising monies to take care of the salaries of the staff of Throne Room Trust Ministry workers. 
we have a form which I have here. I believe that uh, the ushers have them. Some of us have filled them already. So if you have filled this form already, if you filled this form last year, there will not be any need for you to fill it again. So ushers, please just give to those that have not filled. We want to increase the number of the contributors. And the plan is for you to give give every month. There are different monies, sums of money you can give monthly. You can decide to give 3,000 Naira every month. You can decide to give 5,000 every month. You can decide to give 10,000 every month, 20,000 every month, 50,000 monthly, 100,000 monthly, 250,000 monthly, and above. I know some people who give 500,000 every month, and the Lord has been faithful in their lives. Praise God. 500,000 is not here, but there are people who have consistently given that 500,000 every month. From January this year up till this month, they've consistently done that. So if you can give a million naira a month, that is welcome. If you can do higher than that, that is also welcome. So the form is in duplicates. The form is in duplicate. So I will encourage us to fill the form. Just tick the amount that you'll be giving every month. Fill the form in duplicate. When you fill the form, you come to the altar. When you fill the form, you tear it into two and come to the altar with it. As quickly as we can. And those who have already filled this form last year, you're also asked to come to the altar so that you'll be prayed for. Because most of you have been very faithful for the past one year. We we'll believe that the year 2024, you will be more faithful in supporting the Throne Room Trust Ministries with respect to raising monies to pay salaries. So we need to be fast about filling the form. The form just has your name, the tower or the city where you live, your mobile phone number, and your email address if you have one. If you don't have an email address, just give us a mobile phone number because monthly we send out text messages to those who are participating in this initiative. We send out text messages to thank them. We text, send out text messages to remind them. And they have consistently been faithful. The bank account details is there. It says any bank account. Ushers, if you have received the form, can you wave at me? If you have received the form, can you wave at me? Can you feel quickly? But if you had filled this form for this year and your name is already in the register, can you also approach the altar? Can you begin to come to the altar, please? The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 3, For I testify that according to their abilities and beyond their ability, they give voluntarily. So according to your ability, give. Beyond your ability, also give. And greater doors will the Lord open for you in 2024 in the name of Jesus. We are our faithful brethren that we are with us and give faithfully this year. Come to the altar. Come forward. You don't want to be the first? No, come.
Now, those of you who are coming forward, please, I'm going to start a prayer now. We are wasting time in this place. Uh, there is no humility or hypocrisy in this. You deserve your blessing. If you have by covenant, kept covenant with us throughout this year financially, sending monies, you don't know how much it has saved us this year. Can you just please step forward and just line up? At the end of this year, we want to say thank God for your lives. We want to ask the Lord to raise a remembrance because you were faithful this year for a double portion in the coming year. So that's just the reason why he's asking you to come. It's not because he wants to show you off to the world. You see, he's included. You can see him standing there. So if you had come, he will still join you. And if you just collected your form now to commit yourself that next year, every month you will send something to the throne room, particularly to our salaries account. We pay 200 people every month. And our bill for each month, which he didn't tell you, is 10 million naira. It means in 12 months, we need 120 million. Now, it is not just those of you who are here that are giving to meet that 120 million. If you calculate, you'll find out what you paid is not, cannot cover 120 million a year. But as of December this year, we have expended about 120 million on salaries and allowances alone. We have two kinds of uh, paid workers here. We have missionary workers who collect only allowances. Then we have professional workers who collect a lot higher than the allowances workers. In the hospital, we have both missionary workers and the professional workers. The missionary workers take only a tithe of what the professional workers take because they are missionary workers. They are there as for missions. And they have been with us from the beginning of this ministry. But most of the hospital people don't know that exists. They think everybody is collecting high. No, some of them are missionary workers. And in spite of that, our bill is still 120 million. For those of you who don't know, we have a hospital. They are professionals, so they are paid higher salaries. We have a radio house. They are professionals, and they are paid accordingly. Uh, we have a school of theology, master's degree holders, they have to be paid. If we opened up a university, they have to be paid. So we have people who collect the higher amounts uh, from 100,000 upward, up to 200,000 per month for 12 months. So please, if you are collecting that paper to be part of us, this is a mission organization. And it is by our givings that this ministry is sustained. Collect it and be part of the covenant of this ministry. Shall we rise up on our feet? You are a mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody in the crowd on your feet. You are a mighty God. A great. Are you sleeping there? Where is Isaac? Where is Isaac? It I am. Hallelujah. 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 us and speak to us through the house language. 
So we will take it unto the Lord in the Hausa language. Kaine ubangiti iaye giti Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. taking that those of you on the I think you must be newcomers when I'm talking can you slow down somebody new must be there because you are trying to stop us from doing our service you are holding your own differently stop holding your service differently when we stop here you learn how to also professionally stop is that clear Otherwise, I'll hand over the phone, the microphone to you, and you continue till midnight. And I'm sure they won't like that. So let's fall in line. I knew you were testing your instruments, but once I'm on the altar, decorum should take over, please. Listen. By your hand, by your sacrifice, the Lord has kept covenant with this ministry. And today, as the Lord opens the altar to usher us into the coming year, I ask that the Lord raise a memorial for you Amen. and raise a memorial for your family. Amen. That as you step out of this place, the heavens will open over your life. Amen. Angels shall be appointed unto you. Amen. Angels shall open new gates and streams for you. Amen. Ah, your life will never stay without being satisfied. Amen. Therefore today, I rebuke the principality that will not let you eat, Amen. that will not let you harvest, Amen. that will not let you enjoy long life. Amen. I curse the human being that will contend your wells with you, Amen. that will contend your waters with you, Amen. that will contend your source of supply with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Today, I enter into covenant with the God of heaven to lift you above every darkness, especially above your own darkness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you say with me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for keeping me this year and remaining faithful to me. I enter into covenant of partnership with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, to supply into your vineyard according to the ability that you give me. And by that, oh God, let a fellowship be established between us. That your spirit will keep faith with me, will keep faith appointment with my family, will keep appointment with my destiny. And you will secure everything that concerns me. This is the covenant I make with you. As I dedicate this commitment, as I renew this commitment, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Can you wave to the Lord and shout amen? amen. Therefore, the Lord be a witness between you and your spirit and your family. That this day have you entered into a vow with the Almighty. And that from now henceforth, and anyone who will raise contention against you while your vow is yet before the law. By fire, let that one be consumed in Jesus' name. 
I didn't hear somebody shout the loudest amen. By day and by night, the fire that burns upon the altar in heaven will protect you and your sacrifices. Can you thank the Lord for this blessing and covenant? Give him glory. Give him praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Just before you sit down, the rest of you can sit down. Those of you in the congregation, you can sit down. But just before you sit down, now I'm talking to every one of us plus those in the congregation. I felt led that for the first three months, the 30 million naira we need so that I can rest and just go about my work and not thinking about salary. The workers must be given their salary so I can forget about it. I want 30 people who commit themselves that between 100,000 naira and 1 million, they will give to the Lord in the coming week or weeks to cover the next three months so that we can rest. If the others come, 10, 10,000, I want to bless those of you who have given in the last few days. Today alone, quite a number of people kept sending 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. And I don't know what was happening from morning. Quite a number kept on sending 10,000 to the salary account. We have a special account for salary. It's not going into ministry. It's for salary. But I want 20 people who will bond themselves that these three months, God will give us up to 30 million to pay for the first quarter. So we can relax while others give at the pace they want. They will have been the yoke bearers for the Lord. And then you will therefore become the first fruit that carried the ark and kept the ark alive in the first quarter of the year. You therefore are called the first fruits of God for this year that sustained the sanctuary. If you want to be part of that 20, please, can you step forward? You can spread it for the whole of January, but make sure that eventually you give as the Lord has convinced you that can help us eventually cover the 30 million so that I can go about my work setting up things. A lot of things are going to happen in this meeting tonight by God's grace. But if you want to be part of that 20 that become the foundations, if you are in the congregation, you can come forward. If you are part of those standing here, I just want 20 people to stand with me here. You know, something happened with me in this December that blew my mind. It blew my mind. And I mean it blew my mind. I went to a church to preach. I didn't know I was so appreciated. And at the end of the preaching, the pastor said he had no honorarium to give me. Did you hear what I just said? And he said he wants his members or the people attending that meeting to give me the honorarium. So he told people, if you know that Apostle Kude has blessed you, only one sermon, I wasn't preaching throughout the week. Actually, I came in from uh, Jaws after the Ten Commandments meeting, straight to Abuja to do that meeting. And the man said, if you know this man of God has blessed us today and you want to bless him back, and he said, man of God, this is your honorarium. Come and bless him. That day I couldn't sleep. People came out. At the end of the counting, at the end of the day, there was 19 million naira. I said, is this happening in Nigeria and in our world, in our time? No church this year in the whole of Nigeria has given me 19 million naira. In one service, one sermon, no church. Not even the governors that I have visited that I did service for. 
But in one congregation, this December, to let me know what next year is holding for me, God decided to bless me. I said 20. Are you 20 there? Because that was what I had, that round number. Four more, because I had 20. So that we can just, you are not telling me how much, I'm not asking you to write anything. You are just becoming the first fruit of God for the first quarter of the year, so that the quarter of the year carries your name and speaks for you on this altar. Any other group of people? Wisdom plus you? It means that you they see something new. Then you better register me too. Wisdom used to be our staff here. And uh, he felt convinced God wanted him to step out, but still serve us from outside. And I'm happy today that he's standing here to pay back all the salaries we had paid him before. Somebody shout hallelujah. What a mighty God, ways are, hallelujah. What a mighty God, we serve, hallelujah. Heaven and earth are told, heaven, angels fall before him. What a mighty God. tonight I call upon you in the name of Jesus to take the feet of each one of these ones that are outside there that have stepped out to carry the altar across the river so that we can fully enter into the year without anxiety Baba pick each one of them Wash their feet and anoint them with oil for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, I build a foundation of blessing for you in the new year by the sacrifice that you make today. I therefore anoint you into that altar of the Most High to set a pattern for your lives. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, amen. in Jesus' name, amen. can somebody shout amen? amen? I therefore release you to grow out from Zion as the blessing of the Almighty God. That from now as you rise, you will have so much to carry in terms of blessings that you will not be able to carry them all. That you will need to call others to help you to carry the blessing that is coming upon you. That from January to March, one angel will cry after another. Don't touch them. Allow them to do their thing. One angel will cry out after another to carry you, to visit you, and to supply for you. That from now henceforth, that which God did not plan to do for you, he will do for you now. In the name of Jesus, I bless you and your homes. I bless you and your families. I bless you and your destinies. In Jesus' name, let the people say amen. You may rise up and then all of you can go to your seats. The Lord bless you. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. If you have filled the form, you can, the ushers, you can, if you are here already, you fill the forms, you can bring them to the altar and drop. If you have filled them already, just drop them there.
for the other persons who are still filling their forms, you can hand them over to an usher. There are ushers around. Uh, they will, they will um, collect the forms from you and bring them to the altar later. One of our brethren from the Cameroons have already redeemed his own 100,000. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? And he paid in a foreign currency. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? This is safer. You know, safer runs in the millions. Hallelujah. So I'm seeing so many millions here. Praise God. With all the siblings, also Honorable Joshua Lavim, the Commissioner of House and Plateau State. Can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? After my announcement, we would like to invite um, Ballet Davu and the University of Joss Orchestra to come and sing unto the Lord. Orchestra from Joss. Amen? Are they ready? Can we just clap unto the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are there living people in this sanctuary? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord in the book of Psalm 150, which says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmaments of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sounds of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery of the harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. And it concluded by saying, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Are there people that have breath in this house? Uh -uh, uh -uh. If you know that you have living bread, do you know that there are people that are paying for the bread they breathe? But here you are breathing, oh my God. Are there people who are living in this house? Hallelujah! Glory! Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord, you know, just like I finished reading from the psalm. We praise the Lord in a different way. With our instruments, with our string instruments, with the cymbals, with the trumpets, with the trombones, with the violins. That's the way we know how to praise God best. For some people who don't have hands, they try as much as possible to tap their feet. For some who cannot even talk, they, know, they must find a way to express themselves in the presence of the Lord. And I pray that your soul shall be ministered unto this evening in the name of Jesus.
us to travel from Jos to Anambra State in Orca. I had already pre-booked my bus and somehow, somehow, God delayed me. I got to the park. I was supposed to join the first bus and I was supposed to sit in the front seat. And then I got to the park and they told me first boss just left. I was furious. I was like, because I needed to get to Oka on time. And somehow they gave me second boss back seat. And I don't like sitting at the back seat. But I just, let me just go. After we passed Otupo, I saw the boss I was supposed to be in. The person sitting in the front seat died. God is too much. It was then I understand that God works in mysterious ways. His ways are not our ways. If it were for me as a person, I would have been long gone. But he kept me. See what this God has done for me. Has he done so? Come on, let's say this. See what the Lord has done.
Lord for every day. He protected you. Every month you escaped something. Every month he supplied a meal just when you thought there was no hope. Many of us escaped death at different points this year. Can you say, Baba? I have come to say, I am a testimony of your goodness. That is why I'm here tonight. I am what you have done. I am the miracle of your testimony. Can you just tell him that? Can you thank him for your family? Thank him for your children? Thank him for your business? Thank you for the promotions that came this year. You who were nobody, God sent a recognition for you. And you who was somebody, God sent an acknowledgement for you. You who had little, God gave you plenty. You who had plenty, God made you to sit upon set thrones. God made you to sit upon set thrones. Can you just tell the Lord today, at the end of this year, I have left everything to come say thank you. There are those of you that it's only once a year you go to church. And today is that day. Can you tell him thank you? Thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for life. There are those of you that are too busy. You do your church through internet because you are always in one country or the other always flying around the world but today you have taken pains to come into this sanctuary to find a place where you will say Jehovah thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Girma da doka Arabada Arabada Girma de Aboda no kaka Nakane Arabada Wanna take Girma de Aboda no kaka Nakane The thanksgiving for the end of year has started. There is no need for announcement. So you want to dance that you are alive and you want to give praise or you are losing now because we came here to give thanks and to enter into a new year. Are you alive tonight? Are you blessed to be alive tonight? Are you grateful to be alive tonight? Give
next year. And for every woman 
who had raised the cry in despair. And God answered her prayer. Amen. Testimonies will never cease from your mouth. Amen. Can you put your hand on your mouth? Put your hand on your mouth. And say, Lord, I enter into covenant with you this year. For 2024. That testimonies shall not cease from this mouth. Covenant my mouth and unto testimonies. And I bond my spirit with your spirit. In the name of Jesus. For testimonies in 2024. For signs and wonders. Everybody who has prayed this prayer, wave and shout, Amen. Now, quickly go back to your seat. We are going to continue the dance in a moment. Now, can you give a big clap offering for this woman? Something is happening in throne room. Yes, sir. I see another red cover taking over. The women are just manifesting and manifesting and manifesting. So shall your testimonies be. Amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Aren't our women beautiful? Come on, give them a big clap of friends, somebody. Now, I'm going to do some quick things before we start concluding this meeting tonight because tonight is going to be great. And tonight you can already see, already see the gates of 2024 waiting for you. And we're going to enter into these gates before 2024. And I'm going to show you the secret for those of you who were not here during the retreat. But just before we get there, I want to welcome His Royal Highness, the Aguam Kaju. Of the cut of the Baju people, and he's here with his wife. We give God glory. Come on, let's put our hands together. Somebody shout hallelujah! You see, I almost invited him to come and dance with me, but I don't know the laws of royalty. Whether it is forbidden for him for the masquerade to dance outside. Their own masquerades, they only dance inside. Uh, but David took his crown, kept it, and started jumping in this. You, can only, you only see him jump in the sanctuary. Outside the sanctuary, don't play with him. But in the sanctuary, there was no limitation. May God bring us to the day when kings will step in and dance in the sanctuary. How many of you have been to the Redeem meetings? Redeem Christian Church, RCCG, Holy Ghost Congress. The one they do at the end of the year. You will see kings stand up. And you see them jumping like And they are still wearing their raoni. Eh? <laughs> A particular one made me to laugh this December. He came all the way from River State, a king, a royal, the An Amanayabo, or Amayabo, Amanayabo. Forgive me if I don't pronounce it well. He said, Paramount will have a whole kingdom. And then, when a Christian group from his chiefdom began to sing in the local dialect, he forgot he was a king. He didn't know when he looked for his handkerchief, and looked for his second cloth. He was in the second row of kings. There was first row. He was in the second row. He told the other because you will find yourself on your new throne. 
oh, I just feel like just continuing preaching tonight because the essence of next year is already coming out. I don't care whether you are not a king tonight. As you enter into January 1st, the shift and the movement to your throne begins immediately. By midnight this night, I say, as the Lord told that thief, as the Lord told that thief at the cross, by midnight this night, your statue and nomenclature will change forever. If you believe that, can you wave and shout, Amen? If you believe that, can you wave and shout, Amen? I will come to that in a moment. You may be seated. The king came out, told the Oba to stand up, move the chair. His wife was more polite. The wife was behind. All of them big people, you know, huge. These were big, fat people. Told the Oba to remove, the other Oba to shift his chair. And the wife pushed through some other women who were sitting with them there. And they were all holding. Before we could say Jack Robertson, we saw This was the king dancing. And the cameramen, cameramen are wicked people. They just left the band that was singing and they zeroed down on the king. So the whole world, the whole global world was watching the king. He forgot that that was it. <laughs> but do you know why? He was in the palace of the Lord. He was in the church in the presence of the Lord. I am sure that that king is going to reap a hundredfold in 2024. Yeah. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Yeah. There were other kings there and regents. And they were all dancing in front. But this king went out. He was sweating seriously as he was doing that. Shaking those, they had, you know, the traditional dance of the riverine people. And he was just shaking like that, shaking like that, shaking like that. Wow. That made me to just bow my head to this God of heaven. Before whom all kings bow. And to worship him. Ah, next year. You won't know which dance to dance to celebrate what God has done for you. But tonight... There are a few quick changes we have to make so that in the next 15 minutes, I'm announcing a few quick changes in throne room. And with those changes, we are going to enter into a new level by God's grace. Um, from our schools, onto our different departments and sectors. Um, and I will do that very quickly because I'm going to pray for all of them at once. I'm not going to pray for them singularly. I'm going to pray for them at once. State University. You see a lecturer in the Cardinal State University. Move out quickly, quickly, quickly. Dr. Akos, the Lord is giving you a new assignment in this ministry of Kaduna State and the headquarters. You are going to be wearing very large shoes that are a little bit bigger than you, but they, you, you will be comfortable with them because that is your area. You are taking over the place of Mrs. Arua to supervise all our education and schools in this ministry. It's going to be intensive. It means that under your supervision, if the ATC, Apocalypse Theological College, will be part of your supervision. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? It means that our throne room academy and the secondary school that is coming out from it and the kindergarten schools will all be under you. You are going to regulate them. Don't let the Ministry of Education ever come asking for anything here. 
We have a university professor taking care of them, so they should be safe. You will regulate them. You are going to get into work in, in the very early January. Start checking whatever is right and wrong. You have powers to shake them up, sack and replace with many people. Go to work, immediately overhaul it. Do everything Mrs. Arua did. Mrs. Arua was the rapport between us and the Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. And Mrs. Arua has gone to rest with the Lord. She was a member of our board. She was actually the secretary of our board. So I see this as promotion. And so you are being moved out of that place. And in your place, the next man that was in, your, in the hierarchy is taking over. And that next man is um, Pastor Musa from the Kaduna Tower. Musa Bitrus, where are you? Step up quickly. From today, you become the substantive presiding pastor of Kaduna State. Now, listen, you will still remain the zonal pastor. That is how much we trust you. Your face brings order. And you will still advise him. But you will dictate our policies. That makes you to sit on some of our statutory boards. So it's a little higher than what he is into. Is that clear? But so that you can keep busy washing feet. What did we call next year? To heal and to serve. So that you can continue your work and wear your crown. After teaching people those rhymes, you can make heaven at the end of the day. So Musa becomes the substantive presiding pastor. That is what is called for Kaduna zone, covering from Zaria down to Jabakwe. All over Kaduna State here, every tower and branch comes under Musa. It means whoever was your assistant automatically takes over Kaduna. I don't know who was your assistant. Who is that? Sanke, Gidado, Ilyasu, are you here? Or you jump out and come and stand because there is a shift and there is a vacancy. We're doing a major shake-up in the throne room youth Seraphim's movement. I gave them, well, maybe I didn't announce that, but I gave them one year to see how they will grow their wings as seraphims and begin to make a loud impact. At the end of that one year, I have had the Lord to shake them up a little. I repeat, shake them up a little and set up a new ESCO and partially part of the old ESCO. So today, we are commissioning out a new leader for the throne room youth seraphims, and we want them to begin to behave like seraphims and carry out the ministry of a seraphim in Nigeria. And the new leader for the throne room seraphims is our brother Robinson. Where is Robinson? Can you step forward quickly? You are going to start a, a walk that is going to sweep across Nigeria. We are not feeling their effect in Nigeria yet. Uh, their effect in Southern Kaduna, yes. But that makes them local champions. We want to feel the effect in Nigeria. And I want two of the former escorts to come back today, Elkana and Esther Alex. Esther Alex, come out. Where is Elkana? Elkana, I think, is from... 
Nasarawa area tower or something. Come and stand beside him there. And Esther, Alex. Now, listen. Austin from Port Harcourt will choose one leader that he will add to your ESCO. Lagos will choose one leader that will add to your ESCO. Pastor Ayuba will choose a leader that will add to your ESCO. Very active people. You and your team start a revival from Kano to Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt to Lagos, to Mina, and all over the place. Abuja will appoint for you a leader that will also join you. So all five of you, before there were six or seven, now we are bringing a representation across, maybe because everybody was from around here. That is why the people became local champions. But now we are, you are going to take over the leadership and immediately mobilize an army within one year. There should be a roar all over this country. We have enough powerful youths to change the scenario, both educated and uneducated. Take all of them and turn them into houses of praise. Number three, the throne room is setting up an investment committee and if they need to do any registration, they will do it with the CAC if they want to, if it gets to that level. Of very mature people who have served very faithfully in this ministry, want to move forward, want God to dig wells that holds our hands. So that sometimes we don't even need to ask. Out to the nations, but before they respond, sometimes it becomes too late. So the Lord has given an order because of the nature of 2024 and the way God is going to lift people up and explode in the heavens on behalf of the church. The Lord has commanded us to raise an investment committee and they will go into investments on behalf of this ministry, and the Lord will give them wisdom. And chairing and heading that committee is Tola Timothy. Where is Tola Timothy? Can you step forward quickly? Leave that post. Nobody is asking for your permission. Tola Timothy is a businessman in the plateau, and he has refused every other position in this ministry except to usher people in. He is bribing God to serve as an usher in heaven as well. So that when everybody comes, everybody will know him by name. Even in heaven. I don't know why he chose that. Every attempt to move him out of that place, he's always rejected. But he's a businessman who is doing things in Plato. Tola is his name, Timothy. Other members of that committee... Uh, Ephraim Usman, who is a commissioner in one of the states. Can you please step forward? <laughs> Moses Katuka, the former Seraphim's president, who works with an aviation company. Can you step forward? And you should give thanks that you are still continuing here to work for the Lord. He's not here. Then that steps him down from the committee. Anybody whom I call and is not here cannot join the committee. Uh, Moses Katuka was to be the other person. I'm told he's not here. And by the powers invested on me by the Holy Spirit, the test is that you are here tonight. So anybody I call and is not here tonight ceases to be a member of this committee because the committee cannot start dragging. And if he's here, let him take his place. Then there is Plangnam Samson. Is she here? She's one of the central faithful people in this ministry. 
Now, all the wisdom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will be required of you. It is now we'll know whether you are really smart. Let's put our hands together for her. She's a very industrious lady. There is Pastor Elizabeth Shaba. Come and start celebrating your 70 years. Come, 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 come quickly. Elizabeth Shaba. Work is not done. You still have a lot of work to do. You see this beautiful young woman? Eh? You cannot connect her to 70 yet. But very soon she'll be blowing the chauffeurs and inviting us down to Mina to dance and sing with her at 70. Let's put our hands together again for her. She's presently a commissioner with the present government in Ninja State. So we have a few commissioners here. And she's one of the oldest members of Throne Room. When we were nothing, she was with us. When she was nothing, she was with us. And she has grown through the ranks at state levels and federal committees. And tonight, God has crowned her with glory. And we give thanks for her life. Where is Bala Steven? Bala Steven has a group of schools, started from Nasarawa, ended up in Abuja. Where is he? Is Bala Steven here tonight or is stepping down too? Somebody call him out here. He didn't come. Uh, God has chosen. Because that was my covenant with God. Anybody who is not here tonight physically will not always be there. So Bala Steven, and then lastly, as is our custom, any major committee we do, we set a board member to watch over them and to be part of that committee. And today, the person that is the board member to watch over that committee is Apostle Stanford Stasier, who is an engineer by profession. international levels and God is with him. So they have enough people with experience here to ride that boat of investment. I think God has not naturally chosen. My agreement with God and the test was that everybody I called, none of them was informed except one person and that one person was informed just this afternoon. But outside that one person, no other person was told. For them, it's like a surprise. And I wanted it to be that way. So that those that God had ordained will be here. Let me not call them two days to before, inform them, and then they didn't plan to come. They start planning to come. No, that was not the agreement with God. Haven't done this, and like I said, I'm doing all of you at once. Can all of you please kneel down? Now unto God, who sets up thrones and lifts men upon his thrones, to fulfill his will on earth as it is in heaven. I call upon the spirit of the Lord to begin to separate you from your brethren and release upon you the spirit of wisdom and of the ancients and release upon you the spirit of grace and of power and release upon you the spirit of soundness and of a clear mind that the revelations of God will become your dwellings. Today, that the heavens will open. Wherever the wind flows, you will go with it. Wherever the winds rest, you will rest there. The harvest of the Lord shall be your harvest, and his habitation shall become your testimony. That today, I lift away every veil 
And I lift away everything that will undermine your divine authorities. I curse any spirit that will curse you or that will war with you. And I bless the angels that hear me from the four winds of the earth that will come to your aid. Woe unto spirits like that of Meros, who will not come to the aid of the house of the Lord. Today, those spirits will never be able to see you in Jesus' name. Therefore, today, I anoint all of you one by one. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And by this holy consecration, I release the earth under you to come to your aid and to fulfill your testimonies. And I decree from now, every ground you step upon, that ground will germinate for you. And for your sake, a vineyard shall be established for the Lord. Today, I anoint you into new things and I consecrate you now to step out and only walk in high places with kings. And today, a new vineyard shall be established for the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I release you for signs and wonders. <laughs> the miracle of industry shall become your habitation. And by it, the house of the Lord shall feed day and night. As it was in the day of Jedida, every blessing that was placed on Jedida in the temple in Zechariah chapter 6, I place that upon you in Jesus' name. Ah, you will be like a tree planted by the waterside. You will bring your fruits in season and out of season. You will never lack any good thing. By the oil on your head, I set a law over your life that rebukes any thief that will attempt to steal or divert your destinies. I set a law in heaven to watch over you and to make you and your houses fruitful. And I decree for those of you in the investment committees, that you will be the first fruit examples of heaven for prosperity. So go now and accelerate everywhere. And go now and plant the ministry in a new place with new visions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want the shofars. Therefore, today, before the heavens and the earth, I release you to go to the ends of the earth and prosper. You will have no limitation in anything that God has given you. For the hand of the Lord is upon you to save many generations hereafter by the works of your hands that you begin to do today. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And the people shout amen. You may rise on your feet. Congratulations. The Lord bless you. 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 Thank you. I'll want, is it, uh, Austin or Augustine, the deputy president for the youth movement in the last regime, call your few committee to debrief Robinson and do a proper handover. Everywhere there is a need to be a handover. Where is Professor Sodengi? We are starting a new school. Actually, we are starting two schools. So then he was some, to be somewhere, but he said he would try to preach. He's preaching somewhere, but he's coming here before the night is over because he has to cross over from here. But you will work closely with Professor Sodengi 
to try to see whether we can start a school of nursing that will be springing out from our 16-story building. So work very closely with him. Work very closely with him. And then because of that, we are separating the theological college. We are reestablishing now. The theological college will be independent. We've already registered it with CAC. But we are now returning back to the original vision. We are bringing back the school of prophecy and discipleship this time. I thought you would clap unto the Lord. So everyone who has been waiting to go back to the old prophetic movements and prophetic works of the Lord for these last days, please, you can apply and enroll and start by God's grace by January. We are setting a new setup to take over and revive that school. I will be one of the major senior teachers in that school, and I will be taking the students for practicals in the bush and in villages. And any latest demon that thinks he has defied the kingdoms can stand in our way and see what happens to him. I didn't hear something. prophecy and spiritual giftings, please join us in that school in January. You can easily just go out there, either pick your application forms, write your name, they will give you the details when the school is taken off by the end of January. So get ready by February, the school takes off and we will give you a certificate, we will give you a diploma and you know, for those courses. The degree awarding one will be left with the Ap Ap Apocalypsis Theological College. So when you want the degree, go to the other college. Now, our school of nursing will be the stepping stone into starting a university. That means one day we'll have a school of medicine A lot of things are in the offing. And our prayer is that within the next five years, we are rushing the buildings there as God provides. And God is merciful. He has been faithful. We are rushing the things as soon as they are ready. We want to open up not just Southern Kaduna, but the whole north as a defense for the gospel. If you believe God, can you shout hallelujah? So please pray for us and those of you watching on television pray for us and those of you watching from Meduguri to Kano there are a lot of Kano people watching us today whether you are indigenous or not join us in the school of prophecy let's start the first the first fruit and first force of prophetic prayer over Nigeria and if you are watching from the Cameroons, Liberia, all over Africa, send your students to us, your pastors to us. Let's train them in prophecy and discipleship. There was a time students from this school shook the whole of Cameroon. Presently, most of the Christian leaders, sorry, not most, a sizable number of the Christian leaders in the Cameroons went through this school here. And they are the ones holding their churches now. Now that they are Spiritual fathers are too old or have gone to be with the Lord. The ministry has been sustained by what they taught in this school. Cameroonians are watching me today. If we go to heaven, that is one of the cups and the memorials God will write for this school. We are going back to taking the nations through our schools. Zambia has been blessed by that school generations, including rulers in Zambia, people in government. And today my father arise now and shift your temple into another place from here. And let the earth hear the sound of your voice. Wherever we enter, set up new thrones and rule over the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. You may go back to your seats. Let's give Jesus a big clap offering.
Congratulations to all of you. Girma de yabo da do kaka na kene arabada. Girma de yabo da do kaka na kene arabada. stand up on their feet. The sound people control your sounds. Don't make unnecessary noise now. We don't want to hear your sound. Let the earth keep silent now. Thank you. My father, the hour has come when we will need your strength and grace for what is to come. This year, it has been by your mercy that we have come thus far. Every one of us who gathered last year here, you have shown us favor and your great grace has kept us. And this year was wonderful for all of us. The testimonies abound. And today, as I hold your holy sacraments, the covenant and the vow 
you establish and left behind for us that as many as are born by your spirit, if they will, over, if they will partake in it, you will command the heavens and you will command the earth to keep their vows over their lives. Today we have come at the end of another year. A year that was difficult for many. Baba here, there are a lot of the leaders from the plateau here today. Including their members. And Lord, they carry with them the bruise and the pain of the dead, of those that were massacred in the day when men celebrated you. Today, as I pray, I remember the play to people. And I say, in all of Christendom in Nigeria, let this never repeat itself again. Today, that you will bring healing to their hearts. As we eat unto you, we also eat for them. That you will lift away the pain and you will open a new era for plateau because of the blood that has been shed on the ground. Let that blood raise a defense from heaven. Let a new visitation begin in the plateau in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Baba, because we are yet starting another year, I ask that you take the covenant of the blood that was shed and you will receive these ornaments of your sacrifice. Even this red grave that, Lord, you may release of the blood of your sacrifice into it. And by that blood, you will separate the heavens and the earth and spirits that relate with us next year. By this blood, you will command the earth to do us no harm. By this blood, you will open the gates of heaven and the wells of life to supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. By this blood, you will keep us alive. By this blood, you will put your mark upon us and all our families and their generations. By this blood, you will command the four winds of the earth to keep covenant with us day by day and night by night. By this blood, your angels will position themselves in our houses and our homes and our lives. And they shall be bonded with our spirits to forbid that any man should do us any harm. By this blood, not one here will fall from the heads of those who are here tonight. By this blood, sanctify us into a new covenant. Therefore today, I give thanks for that sacrifice that was made once and for all, by which the curtains of the heavens and the earth were broken into two, and the graveyards were opened, and the dead rose. That by it, both the living and the dead might be made subject to your name. Today, as we drink of this blood, let the living and the dead be made subject to your name. In our lives, no enchantment fashioned against us shall prosper. And if anyone has come with all kinds of causes, as they drink tonight, let the causes be broken. Let their lives be set free in the name of Jesus. I hallow you in these sacraments. And I declare, Lord, today, that there is no other name by which we have our own salvation. Others invoke demons tonight. But today, let the sacrifice of these holy ornaments, let it swallow all of them in Jesus' name. 
I lift before you even this unleavened bread to stand in the place of your broken flesh that as Christ might, was broken so that we can have life so that our lives cannot be broken again that you will hallow and sanctify this flesh and today you will make every life present here invisible therefore in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit I receive the gift of your life into these holy sacraments and today having given thanks for the victory on the cross and the power transferred to us I break this bread in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit in Jesus name and the people say amen, amen. father as the custom is that you have bequeathed to us haven't give, given thanks I release this to your children and I ask that your spirit bear it to them and I say unto them as you said unto your disciples take eat of this in remembrance of me that by eating you may live by me in the name of Jesus and having given thanks I take of the blood and I say take drink of this for I will not drink with you again until that day in heaven before my father Therefore, that which you have given us today, we receive it with thanksgiving to sustain us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, I want all of you to raise your hands. As I hold these holy sacraments before God the Father, I know many of us have suffered this year. And I know many of us have had cause to mourn. I watched the television this night. And I heard that the plateau, it's 200 now. 200 people that were alive five days ago. And for no reason, they cannot see this new year. Today. I invoke this sacrifice on the cross that is any of you is being pursued from anywhere. Let your pursuer be cut off. I hold this holy sacrament. If anybody is holding your life in their hands and will not show you mercy, let the Lord cut off the ornaments of that person from your life. I hold this in my hands. If by any witchcraft you are trapped, or your life is in danger, or your flesh is weak and afflicted with sickness, as you drink and eat, let that sickness fall away from your body now. Let that trap be broken in the name of Jesus. You will not enter into 2024 limping. Nigeria will not enter into 2024 limping. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody shout, yeah! Faithful God, oh faithful God, faithful God, oh faithful God, only you deserve the glory in my life. 
Only you deserve the glory. Oh, faithful God, faithful God, faithful God. Oh, faithful God, faithful God, oh, faithful God, faithful God, oh. Only you, only you deserve the glory. passing the blood now we are very many so that by the time we are ready because we have to go through these gates before 2024 that means before 2024 you will have entered into 2024 so at every contradiction kept in 2024 will not trap you I didn't hear somebody say amen they will pass those subjects round and then they will follow with it an anointing. So somebody open that anointing oil, start dropping it in their hands. When they put it in your hand, anoint your forehead. Exactly 10 to 15 minutes after 12, we are getting out of this hall. So everything is being finished before 12. We'll just be singing and praising and bringing offerings of thanksgiving in the new year. Is that clear? We're not staying till one o'clock. Or by God's grace, we are not staying till 12.30. So, can you divide yourselves? So, as of you standing there, you are not doing anything. Uh, take the oil and pass it around. Let them begin to anoint themselves. Anoint your head. Anoint your head. Yes, thank you. Take, take charge of that. You just do that. We need to do some things quickly. Ezekiel 8.8. 8. Ah, uh, Obinya, I beg you, put these things on the screen. If there's ever a time I need your screen, it's now. Ezekiel 8.8. 8. Open your Bibles to Ezekiel 8.8. 8. I'm just going to minister freely as the Lord has commanded me. You may be seated for a moment. They will bring it out to you. When we stand up, we'll just start praying. Can you raise your right hand and say, Lord, where I'm seated today, I give thanks that I'm alive. But today, can you begin to bring up all the issues that are hidden against me? Plus the one that I know and the one that I do not know. Plus the unfinished business of this year that needs to be finished next year. Not those prayer items. I thank you I'm alive today. Like I was listening to Onayeka. He said Nigeria 
they don't have any reason to look forward to next year because even the regime that should be protecting her has not settled down to start drawing a strategy for her protection next year. It means we are on our own in the hands of the law. Today, I hand you over to the God that will not allow anybody to afflict you. Every evil in this nation shall not affect you in the name of Jesus. As you anoint your head, let your life be secured from every evil in Jesus' name. Can you say, I receive in the name of Jesus. As I anoint my head, say, as I anoint my head, let my life be separated from every evil that is stationed in 2024. That is stationed in 2024. They will not find me in Jesus' name. Now, you now know why you are anointing your head. It's to separate your life from other lives and your life from every evil so that they don't find you in 2024. 2024. This God, he shall be your God to the end. Can you tell the Lord as I anoint my head, I enter into the covenant of adoption for 2024. That you will carry me as your baby. And throughout the year, you will keep me and protect me and defend me as your baby. This is the covenant I make. And I release my life into your hands to hold, to nourish, to keep in safety, and to rebuke the horrors that come against this life that is named by my name, Emmanuel Kure. Call your own name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I make this covenant. If you followed me, you better finish it. Because what you are praying now is stronger than what I will pray for you. It is the connection between God and your spirit. The Bible says with your mouth you confess your salvation. With your heart you believe. So you better use your mouth to confess your salvation. Today, while you are still anointing your head and the oil is going around, can you tell God if there is any sin that is speaking against me this year, Forgive me. Can you begin to confess your sins before the Lord? We have come to a final end of year prayer. And we have come with all the iniquities and accusations. We have come with all the enemies that want to transfer their enmity into next year. You know, there are people who are angry with you this year. And they will stop. Next year, they will still continue to seek vengeance against your soul. Any vengeful spirit that is pursuing into next year, dies this year is cut off this year they will look for you next year because of the oil on your head they will not find you in Jesus name I didn't hear somebody shout a thunderous amen just collect the communion and keep it by your side Collect the communion and keep it by your side because we are coming to that in a moment. We are coming to that in a moment. Rabosh tekeli mahanda la kuria ba, baba la kuria mahande yekele baba sonta. Father, today for the helpless, send them help now. For everyone that somebody is waiting for outside. Let an angel with a flaming sword take over that person in the name of Jesus Christ. That when they step out, a sword shall go through their enemy's heart. I say a sword will go through your enemy's heart. I say a sword will go through your enemy's heart. In the name of Jesus. By the oil and the communions you take today. I declare you defended in the world. Every one of you watching us by television, I release the power of God to take over your habitations and to rebuke your devourers in the name of Jesus. All over the world, wave up your hands, wave your hands and shout, Amen! Somebody shout, Amen! Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. A 
Ezekiel 8, 8, if you already put it on the screen. Then said he unto me, son of man, and I told them during the retreat, son of man means human being in the Jewish study Bible. So if you have a Jewish study Bible, open it and you will see the road there, human being. It's not referring to an angel, it's not referring to sons of God that are spirits. It's referring to you, son of man, human being. He then said he unto me, human being, dig now into the wall. Now note, and when I had digged in the wall, behold a, a door. Can any of you see doors here? Yes, there is one there. There is one there. There is one there. But I want to ask you, can you see a door through the wall on the pulpit? Eh? No. There is no other door but these two, three doors I just showed you. But they told him, dig. It is the doors that you cannot see that will serve you in 2024. Also, it is the doors that you cannot see that will attend to wound you in 2024. And then number three level, it is the doors that can, you cannot see that are keeping the secret treasures that Isaiah 45 verse 3 spoke, speaks of. The hidden secret treasures of darkness that is kept for the day of the visitation of the Lord upon the world. Now, all of those mysteries will begin to unlock, to connect with the church in this coming year. I have preached that the Lord said in the coming year, he will set thrones of honor and he will make you pass through those doors. I told you that this year is a year of doors. Even by the Hebrew calendar, the name for it is Dalet. 5784 is the year of Dalet. Doors, doors, divine doors that will open. When you, an enemy is pursuing you, from now I decree, a divine door will open and swallow that enemy in the name of Jesus. When you are lost, a divine door will open and bring you to the place of plenty. But next year is a year of sudden strange doors. The circumstances will change. Three kinds of major angels will be involved next year. The first is called the watcher. Go and listen to our tapes on the internet. I cannot preach that. We did this in our retreat. They are called watchers. Daniel chapter 2, verse 17. Put that on the screen. Because I want to start praying. I'm waiting for them to finish serving that communion. And we will start praying. And we will start marching in. Daniel chapter 2, verse 17. And I will give thee the treasures... Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 please quickly quickly Daniel switch it to Daniel 4 17 ah, I'm stuck with these people <laughs> this one is still telling me Daniel 2 this one is telling me Daniel 4 this matter is by the decree of who there are watchers and their functions are twofold. They create situations to fulfill prophecy, prophecies of the Messiah. They live their lives to serve Jesus Christ the Messiah. Under God, they are called watchers. They change times and seasons. They can create a situation for your advantage. 
So when that situation gives you an advantage, a promotion will come. And they will shut that door. I told you it's a year of doors. And the watchers are going to play a very important role. They are called watchers. Put it on the screen. Let me finish reading. It says, this matter is by the decree of watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones. You will notice that once there is with small letters. To the intent that the living may know next year, the theme of this ministry is king of kings, the potented God. You can see it on the wall there. We put it on the wall. That is our theme next year. That is our focus for 2024. King of kings, potented God. And it's from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 15. All over the world, our ministries will be teaching about the potented God. Potent, potented God. Sorry, in my hurry, I'm just mixing up the things. And the vision is proclaiming the day of the king of kings upon the earth. The potented God in all the earth. And scriptures are there to help you understand the spirit behind it. And our mission for 2024, for the world to hear, is to heal and to serve. Each member of Toru, we seek to heal something. We seek to heal what he comes into contact with. If you are in government, you will seek to heal your government, to help your government. Did you hear what I said? And to serve, not be served. We'll go around serving and changing things. Tomorrow, I mean, yes, from tomorrow. Don't be surprised if I wear more of jeans throughout this year. It's my service uniform. Did you hear what I said? I will go seeking the lost and helping them find their way. Reaching out to the needy and changing their lives. All throne room, I release the Spirit of God to put you back in the field. To begin to harvest in the name of Jesus. To heal and to serve. Somebody say heal and serve. Somebody say heal and serve. We must step into Nigeria to save Nigeria. To redeem Nigeria. By bringing the healing of the Lord to Nigeria. I repeat, everyone whether in government or outside, the Lord is instituting a law now and anointing you to bring healing to Nigeria. Anybody who opposes you while carrying out that healing, I stretch God's hand where I'm standing here upon your head and I command that person to fall before you in the name of Jesus. Now human beings shall prosper against you in the process of bringing healing and service. I release power to those in government tonight that throughout this year, every man in government that sets up his heart to bring healing to Nigeria shall prosper above his fellows in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't understand. Wave your hand and shout, Amen. Amen. We declare their hands strong before the Lord today. And we bless those who heal this nation in 2024. Because it's a healing year. And it's a year of service. Healing. And the year of service. I'm telling you what I've heard of the Lord. Go and listen to the tapes. All throne room members. It's time to come down from your high chair. And step out into the earth. To save and to serve. To heal and to serve. To heal and to serve. And Mark 1, 33 and 34 tells you that very clearly. Jesus came out of the door and there was a multitude waiting. And the Bible says he went into them healing everyone to heal and to serve. To heal and to serve. May that garment fall upon you. Raise up your two hands. May the spirit of healing fall upon you. Everything you seek to serve, a harvest shall come out of it. Therefore, may the spirit of harvest rest upon your hands. Can you do your hands like this? Can you say, I receive in the name of Jesus the spirit of healing in my hands. Can you wave, I receive the spirit of healing in my hands. Don't forget your hands has oil already. So everything proclaimed on your hand will stick to your body. 
I say receive the spirit and power of healing upon your hands. Wave it and shout amen. amen. Number two, everything you touch shall bring you a harvest. Can you say I receive it by the oil in my hands? In the name of Jesus, I establish this as a divine covenant for 2024. In the name of Jesus, can you wave to the Lord and shout, Amen? Can you wave it to the Lord and shout, Amen? Stand up on your feet. Can you begin to command? Therefore, any spirit that will not allow me have peace, I invite the Lord to judge that spirit tonight in 2024. I invite the Lord to remove their garments. I shed off every burden that belongs to the past. Burden, burden, burden. And every human being that has become a pest and a judge in my life. Can you begin to shed up off? Can you pray for your children? Any spirit attached to my children that should not, that is worrying them, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke them. In this sanctuary, I receive power from God against those spirits. Let them be smashed out. Or you open your mouth and begin to shout unto the Lord and pray to the Lord and command everything to be shedded off that is a hindrance in your life. Father, I arise now and cut off the trees that you have not ordained. In the name of Jesus. Now, listen while you are yet standing. Listen because this is very important. I told you number one is the watcher. I can't teach that because tonight is not the night for those kind of teachings. But number two will be the scribe. Next year, there will be a scribe that will stand over the whole earth. If you look at Daniel chapter 7, I think 9 and 10, the Bible says, And God set forth his thrones. And thousands of thousands of angels appeared all over the earth and before the altar. And the Bible says the books were opened. Psalms 139 verse 16 says, Before your father gave birth to you, that which is written concerning you was written in a book. You are not supposed to die until you fulfill what was pre-written. Therefore, if there's any force stopping you from entering there in this 2024, let the altar of broken in your life. Somebody say, altars be broken in the name of Jesus. Now, listen. Jesus said, all that is written concerning me, I think in the book of Luke, must come to pass. I must accomplish everything that is written concerning me. There are many people dying without accomplishing what is written concerning them. I suspend the spirit of death that is playing with your destiny. If you are in the emphasis, you won't die before your time. If you are in the civil forces, you won't die before your time. If you are an industrialist, you won't die before your time. I suspend the powers that have been set over you by man and by spirit. And I break their yoke in Jesus' name. Can you wave and shout, Amen? So next year is going to be full of activity. God is going to go to war against the wicked. Please, we did a lot of stuff during our retreat. Go to the internet and, and join us. Declare a consecration. Listen to all the tapes from the first night when we talked about the potented God into the early morning five o'clock prayer. 
when God began to shift some things out into the afternoon prayer when God taught us about service into the night vigil at 12 midnight I've not slept for almost three days now because from that night vigil I went to the field stadium and I was with them all day there by the time I came back my head it was a thousand drums hitting inside and I had to see people till night that same night and I'm believing God that by tomorrow I will have some rest but tonight anything that is a threat to your life let God that answer it by fire burn them by fire We said in the retreat, two things will manifest next year. The consuming fire that will bring judgment. And we said next year in Nigeria, God is going to fight traditions that are founded on bar, on idol worship. Did you hear what I said? That is fast corrupting the society. Therefore, anything that has trapped you in tradition and will not allow you breakthrough because some people have set the rules. Those rules are broken tonight. When you drink this communion, every restriction is broken in Jesus' name. Can you begin to thank God? Just bless the Lord. Now, listen to me. I said the scribe will open the book. The watchers will walk by what the scribe tells them about you. What God had ordained for you. Now listen. I don't care how old you are. And I don't care how many years you have wasted. I don't care whether you are buried. I was telling them at the airport. A woman security officer. With her security men. She was the head of that team approached me when I was about to enter my vehicle. While others were begging for money, she said, sir, I don't want money from you. You are a man of God. He said, sir, touch my womb, I want twins. And I said, are you barren? Don't you have children? He said, I have children. But I want twins. Until I get twins, my life is not complete. I, that is a strange request. You already have children, maybe five of them. The only thing missing in your life is the glory of a twin. I said, Madam, is that all? She said, yes, I don't want your money, sir. So I just touched her womb. And I said, receive in the name of Jesus. You, by this time next year, you must ambush me at this airport again and bring your twins to give thanks. Tonight, God told me that for those of you who have lost time and years, he's going to build a bridge over all the years you have lost. And as you go through these gates tonight, he will catapult you over all the things and the years you have lost and the blessings you have lost. And he will set you upon a throne next year that will help you regain everything you have lost. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Everybody, everywhere in the world. This is
Can you tell the king of kings and he pointed it? Pointed. Well, king of According to First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. Can you ask him? Sorry, verse 15. Can you ask him to rule? That was the word he gave us. Which in his times. Next year is going to be the times of the Lord, not Satan. God is going to use those times to correct for his church every abnormally. Which in his times he shall show. Who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and the Lord of lords? In his time, he will show forth. And next year is the year of the Lord. When the Lord sits as King of kings and a potentate God, by that it means he is a final, is a bus stop for everything. Anybody who says as long as he's in power, you cannot prosper, he will lose that power. Because the King of Kings will stand between you and him in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Can you tell the Lord, I want the final bus stop to build this altar in my heart. Can you rededicate your life to him and tell him, I want you to build your altar in my heart. As the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. As the potented, potented God. Build it. And show off your power in 2024 through me. Ask him to build the same thing in your house. And that tonight, everything that does not lift you up or does not belong to your blessing. As you eat of this flesh, let them break away. Tell him to forgive you your sins. Can you take the flesh now? Hold it before you. I hope you have divided the flesh to everybody here. You are still distributing flesh and blood. You should be stopping now. If you have received the flesh, please take it in your hands. I'm sure the servers will take care of themselves. Wherever they meet us, they will be blessed as well. But we can't wait for everybody. Today is a special day. We want to keep to the timings of the Lord. Hold it in your hands. Just lift the flesh before the Lord and say, Father, I renew my vows of life with you. And I declare you the honor of my life. I invite you to take your seat in my heart and to reclaim your seat in my house. And wherever your place has been stolen in my life, today, I enter into covenant of everlasting life. I enter into covenant by this communion to enthrone you in my heart as the king of kings over 2024 and the ruler of decider of my destiny in 2024. Take over. Take over and own me throughout 2024. By this, renew my spirit, renew my soul, renew my existence. Let me be born again. Let the blood of Jesus wash me clean. I repent again for every betrayal in my life. Unlock the gates of 2024 and reign in Jesus' name. Can you take and begin to eat in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit? And somebody say, Amen. Amen. How many of you have not received the bread, the fresh bread? Okay, nobody now. How many of you have not received the blood at all? There are some hands here. They must have passed you without seeing them. 
If you have not received the blood, keep waving, let them come because we are about to drink of the blood. Saborai Kabani Nagoti Seto Kabani Nagoti Tell the Lord, my father, I have no one else to carry me through 2024 but you. I place my life in the hands of your blood now to see to me throughout the year, to protect and defend me. Today, in the name of God the Father, God the Son and the Holy Spirit I renew my existence inside of you for in you I live and move and have my whole being I receive the blessing of the blood and the salvation of the blood all the days of my life by this blood Unlock the gates of 2024. Let every door of blessing find me and bless me and situate me and place me on the throne of honor. I receive the blessing of that throne and by me change the world. Thank you, Holy Father. I receive now the promises of the blood in Christ Jesus by this 
hallow me. Acquit me of accusations and enchantments and spells. Acquit me of every trouble in Nigeria and the nations of the earth. Release me to the highway of blessing. By the covenant of this blood, open my gates before me and glorify your name. I receive the help of the Holy Spirit through the through the sacraments of this blood in Jesus name if there is a quick prayer you want to pray something you just want to mention and say Lord just before you you start moving around and doing things I want you to add this and that to it can you go ahead and add this and that to it? Otherwise, if there is none, begin to drink it in about three stages. At exactly 12 o'clock, the first fireworks we have set for the new year for the first time in the history of throne room will go off at the 16-story building. And then when we finish, as you step outside there from the cross, fireworks will welcome you out into the world announcing your glorification can you begin to drink of the holy sacrament I release this blessing of the gift of life into you now and your house to change the history of your life forever in 2024 in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Those of you who were in the retreat, remember what I told you secretly. I said I won't announce it, so I'm just reminding you so that you don't forget. Bring out your handkerchiefs. I told you to buy new handkerchiefs and come. Those of you who watch us from television will know that. Hold it out to the Lord. Bring out the blood I ask, I mean the red grape juice. I ask every one of you to buy. Or if you had communion wine in your house, bring it with you. That announcement went round. If you were following us, you will know. In this first month, the instruction of the Lord is that every day you will break bread. And you will drink of the communion throughout our fast and in the first month. That the decree might be established in the heavens that only by that blood of Jesus does your victory come throughout that year and that that blood will keep covenant no matter what. Not by your righteousness or by your works. The blood will keep covenant. So if you have that blood, open it up. I hope Cordelia is sure that it is not our lights going on there because it's not time. There are children knocking their nut calf because they know the times are getting close. So don't mind what they are doing there. We have all kinds of security men around here. So if it is not that, they will take care of them. Can you wave that communion that you just brought? Wave it to the Lord. Open the top of it. Praise the Lord, for He is good, and His mercies endure forever. Praise the Lord. must happen. 
happen in our lives in 2024. We invoke the power of your Holy Spirit and the power of your tongue and your oath by which you cannot lie. That today, the spirit of the word in your mouth will take hold of this blood and will enforce it as a law in our lives. That every day will be a fulfillment of prophecy, of prophecy and promise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I ask your Holy Spirit to enter inside. And let that which we hold become spirit and life. Can you wave it to the Lord? And say, I receive spirit and life. Even the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. And his sacrifice into my, into my bottle. That today this become blood before you and the instrument of the covenant of life and promise for me and my house and everyone that shall partake of this. That because it's a year of healing, whatever it touches it will heal. Whatever it touches it will heal. Whatever it touches it will heal. It touches, it will heal. Yeah. Difficult situations will disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ, wave it and shout, Amen! Father, thank you for this. We give you glory and praise. Now, let this become your secret power and covering over our lives. That in the first month, as we seal the covenants of the year, every good thing will look for us and clothe us in 2024. Amen. There will be testimonies that we can ever carry in our lifetime. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory and praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, listen, those of you who brought your blood, the Lord instructed this one is optional. You don't need to do it if you are not convinced. But this that you have brought, when you get home, whether it's in the morning or in the afternoon, for those of you who are traveling very far, anoint. Look at what I do. Anoint the doorpost at the top by the side of your house with the blood and it carries the covenant of this oath throughout the year and it will remind God of the testament next year is a very complicated year listen to the tapes I'm tempted to talk more I can't talk more I'm restricted but listen to the tapes I beg you for those of you and next time make sure you are in that retreat that is your own will find you and bless you. So you will do that. But today from the blood that you hold can you just drop a sip in your mouth as an activation in the sanctuary. My wife, do you have one? Or you take this and drop it in your mouth and you can keep it. Somebody shout hallelujah Somebody shout hallelujah Until the hour of 12 midnight. 12 midnight will meet us praising God. Now listen. 
Give me my oil. Today, I open the secret, sacred gates of the Lord unto you. That the mysteries of God hidden in 2024. Don't touch anything there. Don't touch anything there. Will arise to open the gates of heaven unto you. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Today. I open up the leaf gates of every secret place. To gather wealth for your life. According to Isaiah 45 verse 1. Let all leaf gates of kings open to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody you carry. As you pass through here tonight. Disappears forever. In the name of Jesus. We will enter. Before the clock announces it. So that when the clock announces. You have entered into the secret door of the Lord. And the secret door of the Lord. Will dictate the doors of 2024 for you. Not the time. Not the calendar. But these doors that you have entered. Written upon it. Is king of kings. The potentate God. Yahweh 2024 Can somebody shout hallelujah Now listen I will allow those in the first Three rows You will dance up here You will claim the altar from there And then you will walk Dance in here when the three rows are over, I don't know how you intend to do it, whether everyone from that side will start coming in after them and they go around. And as they are going around, others will we'll be following. Nobody comes in the other door. Where are those with the chauffeurs? Stand here, you will be the last to go in. And stand there, three there, three here, and one here in front. The shuffers, if you are a trumpeter and you know how to blow it well, two of you can join them. Shuffers here, shuffers there. Three here, and three by the wall here, don't stand in our gate and don't enter that gate. The gate has only one way and there is no entry on the other way. You enter in and the Lord covers you in the salik. Ah. Any wicked man that looks for you will not find you next year. Are we ready tonight? Today I release us into the hands of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody shout Amen. Amen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, stand up now. Come on. Media, let's go. Come on, everybody. You can climb from here. You are good and your mercy is forever. <laughs> is forever hallelujah thank you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah everybody hey shake your body 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 somebody shout yeah i'm not getting you can you jump and shout? Yeah! Thank yeah. you are good. I am a singer forever. Hallelujah. Thank you are good. I am a singer forever. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, sing about it, sing about it, sing about it, sing about it. 
I declare that fire shall go before you. Fire shall be behind you. Fire shall be on top of you. Anything that will not open the door of blessing to you. Somebody shout fire! Where is that handkerchief? If you got a handkerchief, just lift it and wave it to the Lord. And tell the Lord, give me a sign by my handkerchief. Lord, give me this. That whatever I lay this handkerchief upon, let a miracle take place there. I receive the first fruits of the blessings of this new year. And I give you the glory for it. I give you the glory for it. I give you the glory for it. If you have an anointing oil close by, I release the life of God into that anointing oil and I release it into covenant with your handkerchief. Just anoint the handkerchief with it and then borrow it to your neighbor and I release the blessing of the fire of God into that handkerchief. Wherever you touch with it, that place will open up for you. The fire of God will fall upon that place. That body will heal by force and by fire. Somebody shot by force and by fire. Can you place that handkerchief on your head? Ah, from now henceforth. <laughs> Everywhere you enter, your life will be recognized by that gate. And the door of that gate shall open unto your life to bring you blessings in the name of Jesus. Again, anywhere you enter, no evil spirit will recognize you there. Therefore today, that handkerchief upon your head and your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall be a sign in heaven between you and the Lord God Almighty. That everywhere you enter goodness and mercy shall follow you. Blessings shall overtake you. Kindness and mercy shall establish you. This year shall gather blessings from the four ends of the earth to your life. You will be blessed in every wonderful currency of the world. Receive your miracles in the name of Jesus. Every restriction that does not work for your good is broken in Jesus name therefore as the shofars begin to sound they will sound seven times and the goodness of the Lord shall follow you out of this place by the oil and the covenant of the handkerchief upon your head from today your feet shall be guided I repeat, your feet shall be guided. Your feet shall be guided. Receive the ordinance of heaven upon your life in the name of Jesus. Seven times will this shofar sound long. And when the shofar finishes sounding, they will take a song, we will start dancing again. The ushers will hold their offering bags by the gates there. And the front is here for you to come and drop any thanksgiving you want to give. And you want to pray for a few minutes, don't waste time, pray. I want those who are in charge of the altar and the monies to stand by there. And then when you finish your thanksgiving, don't waste time on the altar. There are others coming. 
just move on out and go and celebrate. And for those of you who want to see the fireworks by the cross, and the, they will wait for the for as many as are outside. The fires have gone upon the high. You must have watched it on tele, on, on the screen from the 16 tower, our 16 tower here, announcing 2024. When you step out, the cross will announce your 2024. So we have two witnesses in this meeting. One at the tower on the dot of 12. And then the second one is as you step out of this place, the cross will announce the fullness of the power of the almighty king over you. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can you lift your hand to the Lord as the shoppers go on? As we release his goodness to go before you in the name of God the Father. And the power of God to defend you and fight for you everywhere in the name of God the Son. And all the riches of heaven and on the earth to overtake and empower you and enthrone you in the name of God the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. Shout hallelujah. Yes. The Lord establish your going out and your coming in now and forever in Jesus' name. Joyous celebration.
Celebata, 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 Oh, 